praise God from whom all blessings flow. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for keeping us. Uh, storms have been all over uh, America, but we are still here and God has protected us. And so we are grateful. Thank you for joining us as we share a word today and let us prepare our hearts and our minds so we can pray uh, together as a uh, family and as the body of Christ. From the book of John, St. John 17th chapter, beginning verse number six, from the New King James Version of the Bible, you will find these words. I have manifested your name to the men whom you have given me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they have now they have known that all things which you have given me are from you. For I have given to them the words which you have given me, and they have received them, and they have known surely that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours, and all is mine, or yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. Now I am no longer in the world, but these are in the world. And I have come to you, Holy Father, keep through your name those whom you have given me, that they may be as one, as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Those whom you gave me, I have kept. And none of them is lost except the son of perdition. This refers to Judas who betrayed Jesus. All the other disciples were still with the Lord. But Judas who had betrayed him, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am come to you. These things I speak in the world that they may have joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world. Some of us wonder why people hate us, children of God, why people uh, hate on us, why people undermine us, why people always lying on us, why people always attacking us, why people always abusing us. It's because uh, for many of us, it's because we are children of God. We, we belong to the household of faith. Uh, so Jesus says, I have given them your word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world. They're not of the world. Just as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world. Hmm. Sometimes we have to stay and deal with whatever we have to deal with, the abuse, the pain, the disappointment, the crisis, uh, the lies, the bickering, being undermined. We have to deal with it. God doesn't always remove us out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. But while we're here, God is able to protect us from the evil one, to keep us, to sustain us, to give us strength. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. You're, you're not of the world. Stop trying to act like you are from the world. So he says, sanctify them. You've been set apart. You've been consecrated. Sanctify them by your truth. That's how we, we not just, not just not eating certain things, not just not, um, uh, Staying away from ungodly people, but also by the truth. 
God's word is the truth. Your word is true. As you sent me into the world, listen, I also have sent them into the world. We not listen, we had a great time in worship. We had we had a, we have a great time in fellowship. But 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 the Lord not only blessed them and kept them from evil, allowed them to worship, allowed them to serve. And not only did he teach them and encourage them, but listen, as you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. The Lord sent the disciples into the world. We are to be sent into the world as God's ambassadors, his representatives. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also may be sanctified by the truth you set apart by the truth. The word of God is the truth. Jesus says, I am the way, truth, the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. The truth is Jesus is the Son of God. The truth is that he came as God in the flesh. The truth is that he lived, he healed, and he raised the dead. He gave sight to the blind. He healed people with leprosy. The truth is uh, he was hung on an old rugged cross at a place called Golgotha on the hill called Carol, where he died for your sins and mine. The truth is early one morning he got up from the grave and he holds all power heaven and earth in his hand. The truth is, that's why we celebrated Pentecost, is 50 days later, he ascended into heaven where he sits on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. Our Apostle Pre reminds us, from thence he should come to judge the quick and the dead, the living and the dead. I want you to remember because some people question whether Judas was saved or whether he went to heaven or not. Uh, verse 12 says, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. The disciples, those whom you gave me, I have kept. And none of them is lost except one, son of perdition. This is a son of Satan. Uh, who was prophesied they would betray Christ in the Old Testament. The Bible said he lost. He killed himself, hung himself. He repent to men, threw down the money, but he never repented to God. He never, he never changed his way. Repent means to change. Uh, he confessed he was wrong, but he confessed to people, not God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he was a traitor. He was the son of perdition. He was the enemy of Christ, even though Christ had befriended him. Let us pray uh, on this note that none of us will be lost and that as God has sent us we will go and represent Christ in all things. Lord have mercy. I read to you John chapter 17, verses 6 through 19. Hallelujah. May the Lord continue to bless you and keep you. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you, God, for this day, for life, health, and strength. We say thank you, dear God, for making death behave. We say thank you for being our protector, our sustainer, and our provider. We thank you for always making a way out of no way. We thank you, dear God, for deliverance. And now we pray for these, your disciples who are on this line on this prayer call that are joining in on 
this Zoom that are joining in on this YouTube. We pray in Jesus' name that you will continue to enlighten us, encourage us, equip us. We pray that we continue to be enthused about serving. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for preparing our hearts and minds as you are sending as we're reminded that yea, though we walk through the valley shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for thou art with us, thy rod and thy staff will comfort us. And so, God, we praise your name for being all that we need you to be, for doing all that you need us to do. We praise you and thank you, dear God, for your grace has been sufficient for us. Your mercy has endured the test of time. And so, God, we say thank you. And we pray, dear God, that as you have kept us, dear God, uh, that we will be able to witness for your name's sake, that we'll be able to encourage others, that we'll pray for others, that we'll lay hands on the sick and they'll be healed. We pray in the name of Jesus that we're able to feed those who are hungry. We pray that we're able to house those who are homeless. We pray that we will visit those who are in prison, and those who are in jails. We pray in the name of Jesus, dear God, to be transformed dear God, in the name of Jesus, that we may be more like you, that we may shine this of darkness. Your word declares, let your light so shine before people that they may see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. We thank you, God, that when we shine last week, hallelujah, more people showed up this week to worship you. We pray that we be sincere about our praise, sincere about our worship. We pray that we be always ready to yield to your word, your will, no matter who brings the word, no matter who sits next to us. We pray that we have a mind to work. We pray that you will strengthen our hand. We pray that you enlarge our territory. We pray that you meet every need that we have. We pray in the name of Jesus that you protect us as you did your other disciples from evil. And not only from evil, but protect us from the storms of life and protect us from the natural storms disasters that are going on and not only that protect us from one another sometimes we say and do things that hurt one another dear god and we pray dear god that we begin to lift one another up instead of bringing one another down we pray that we continue to encourage one another instead instead of discouraging one another we pray Dear God, in the name of Jesus, that we love you with all of our heart, our soul, and our mind, and our strength. And we pray that we love our neighbors as ourselves. We pray that we be doers of the word and not hearers only. We pray, dear God, in the name of Jesus, dear God, we pray that you have mercy upon us and forgive us for all of our sins, dear God by thought, by word, by deeds, dear God, in the name of Jesus. God, we need you every hour, every second, every minute, dear God, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, you are the giver of life and health. So we pray that you would comfort and relieve those challenged by serious and chronic uh, mental and emotional illnesses. God, give your power healing to those, the Lord have mercy, who are struggling, dear God, hallelujah, with health issues like cancer and liver disease, uh, those who are suffering, dear God, Lord have mercy, from diabetes and heart conditions. We pray in the name of Jesus that you would heal in the name of Jesus. We pray, dear God, hallelujah, that you would deliver Right now, those who are depressed, dear God, in the name of Jesus, deliver those who are suffering from oppression as well, dear God, in the name of Jesus, those who seem to be overwhelmed by the problems of this world. We pray in the name of Jesus, dear God, that you 
hold them in, in the palm of your hand, that you guide every footstep in the name of Jesus, the God. You alone are our secret keeper and you know the deepest in the darkest places within our heart. So Lord, we come in the name of Jesus, the God, asking that you would help us to overcome our fatigue, overcome depression, overcome being overwhelmed, overcome uh, those who feel unworthy of your love. Help us to truly surrender the things that keep us in prison or bound. Lord, have mercy. Replace uh, our struggles with joy in the name of Jesus. Uh, we, we want you to to bless us so that we might be a blessing. Bless us so that we may be able to, to represent you and do what you've called us to do, dear God, to set the captive free, dear God, in the name of Jesus, dear God. Thank you, Lord. You, you truly are the greatest gift of all. Con hallelujah. Con consume us in your joy, for we believe that the joy of the Lord is our strength, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for loving us so unconditionally, hallelujah. Today, our heart may seem heavy, dear God, and some may be struggling with believing that you have a purpose, dear God, for them, dear God, and that you will sustain them or that you will bring them out or that they will overcome are the wicked and evil works of the enemy. But God, you have a purpose. You have a plan. So we're praying that your will will be done in our lives and that we will be strong and of good courage, that we will walk by faith, hallelujah, and that we will continue to press our way to God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, and we pray for um, our, our siblings, dear God, who may be struggling. We pray for our neighbors who may be discouraged. We pray for our friends, dear God. Help them to know that the battle is not theirs, but the Lord as well. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray your blessing upon our presiding elder. We thank you, dear God, for his faithfulness, dear God, and diligence. We pray for our consultant. We thank you, dear God. We pray for the Women's Missionary Work on this district, we pray, hallelujah, for the pastors on the Daytona Beach District. We pray, dear God, in the name of Jesus, dear God, that you will make us the head and not the tail, that we be above and not beneath. We pray that you bless our going out and bless our coming in. We pray for our bishop, that you would bless him, keep your angels encamped around him, dear God. Uh, we pray that you bless him in his travel, bless him in his administration. Bless him, dear God. Hallelujah. And his outreach to other churches and to other places. We pray that you would bless him in his preaching power. Bless him, dear God, in the name of Jesus, dear God. And we pray for our supervisor. We pray that you bless her in, in the work of the Women's Missionary Society for the 11th Episcopal District and for the Young People's Division. We pray that you would give them success, dear God, in all that they do. We pray that we reach people in places, dear God, that have been uh, uh, harmed by the storms, dear God. We pray that we would help them recover and be restored. We pray that we help children, dear God, with scholarships, dear God, hallelujah, and bless them, dear God, those who are orphans and uh, those, Lord have mercy, who are in nursing homes, dear God, those who are in uh, senior citizen living quarters, we pray that we will help meet their needs, dear God, whatever they are, physically, hallelujah, mentally, dear God, economically, whatever they are, we pray that we come together to, to be helpmates to one another, dear God, uh, to lift up one another, to meet the needs, dear God, in the name of Jesus, dear God. We pray for our children. We pray for our grandchildren. We pray that you protect them and keep them, dear God. We pray that they would grow in wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And we pray that they will have favor with God and with people. It is in the name of Jesus. God, we say thank you, dear God. And we pray that this day, dear God, uh, that, that, that we will fulfill, dear God, uh, uh, the things that you've called us to do 
and we will do it with excellence and we will do it in the right spirit that we will do it, dear God, in a way that you will be pleased as well as the people we serve. We thank you for Brother Anthony Bentley and how you blessed him and kept him. And we pray that you continue to strengthen him. We thank you for bringing him out of the hospital, dear God. Hallelujah, that he might be home again and that he may continue to get better. And we praise you and thank you for Brother Ken. Uh, we know the challenges that he's faced physically, uh, but we pray your blessings upon him, dear God, in the name of Jesus, heal and restore his body. We pray for her sister Eccles, dear God. We pray that you bless her uh, in the name of Jesus, that she continue to get better, stronger, dear God, in the name of Jesus, dear God. Uh, we thank you for a husband being by our side. We pray for Brother Ephesus that you continue to bless and keep him. We thank you, dear God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We pray that God's will will be done in your life on this day and in the days to come. We pray that you would stay in the word. Hallelujah. And that the favor of God will continue to be in your life. I love you. I look forward to praying with you. In the days to come, I look forward to sharing a word with you. Invite someone, hallelujah, so that we can continue to grow in grace, continue to grow in wisdom, uh, can continue to grow in understanding uh, so that we may be uh, who God has called us to be and that we may do what God has called us to do. I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Drink plenty of water. We know that it's, it, it's, it's heated up and, and we want you uh, to be hydrated. God bless you.